Both Westmead and Leash faced a relegation battle at FBD Simple Stadium. William Maher's side got off to a flying start. Tomas Keyes was a late change to the starting team and this score had them five points up after 12 minutes. Shortly afterwards, a high ball was sent in on top of Joey Boyle. One-on-one -on -one with his man, up he went and plucked the ball out of the sky. With only one hand on his hurley, he flicked it into the net and it was 1-5 to 8 points. Leash edged ahead by two, the first one coming from the stick of Aaron Dunphy and the second from midfield man Jack Kelly. With 26 minutes gone, Noel Conaghy's slitter fell kindly into the pat of Niall O'Brien. He batted in past keeper Ender Rowland and they took the lead for the first time where it was 2-9 to 13 points. Just before half-time, sharpshooter Killian Doyle had the vision to set up another score. It was eventually his twin brother Kieran that gained possession to give them a one-point lead. It was 2-10 to 15 at the break. With one team to be relegated, we were treated to an entertaining second half. James Keyes was barging down on goal, but his effort was saved and cleared. It continued to be difficult to separate the two evenly matched teams and they were tied when a crucial third goal came from substitute own Keyes. It was 319 to 25 points. Late into injury time, goalkeeper Ender Rowland came forward to take a free. His shot ended up in the back of the net for the O'Moore County. But with time up, senior inter-county hurling's longest serving player substitute Derek McNicholas's late points gave Westmead some breathing space. Heartbreak for relegated Leash and Joe Fortune's men secure the Division 1 status for 2024. All-time score Westmead 324, Leash 126.